All right, today I'm gonna to show you what I like to call guilt-free ice cream. And the one thing I wanna to explain to you is this, there's no ice, there's no cream. In fact, all you need are a few of these. You know, when you get these bananas that are really a little overripe, well, what you do is you cut them up and you freeze them. And I'm talking about, you wanna freeze these things until they're like hard as lumber. Then what I'm gonna do is show you how to use a few simple ingredients to turn this thing into pretty much any flavor ice cream that you'd like. All right, so the first thing we do is we need one of these. We need our little Cuisinart. I'm gonna open up the Cuisinart. I'm gonna feed this in, in this case, about the equivalent of one banana because pretty much I'm the only person gonna eat this. And the one thing you have to understand about guilt-free ice cream is you can't save it. If you put this in the freezer, it'll turn into a brick. All right, and I'm also gonna show you one other little time-saving trick that I've learned. And that's how to avoid having to clean this entire thing, okay? So anyway, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna start off with this. Now the reason I'm putting the bag on top is simply because by doing this, I won't have to clean the entire contraption. Now what you wanna do is you wanna pulse this a little bit. And you can see, as you can see, it's gonna beat it up for a while. All right. Once we get it kind of crumbled up a little bit, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go in there, we're gonna use our little spatula, one of these gizmos, and I'm gonna push this stuff down. Then I'm gonna add my flavoring. Now in this case, I'm gonna put just a little, just a couple of drops, I'm specifically saying drops, of vanilla. I'm gonna put just a little tiny shot, less than a half a teaspoon of honey, just to give it a little sweetness. And what I'm gonna to use today, I also have some strawberries. So I'm gonna throw just a few of the strawberries in there. I've got actually it's the equivalent of two little strawberries. And then we're gonna close this devil up. And we're gonna crank it up again. Now you may have to actually reach in. You may have to actually reach in and push it down again, but we let it go long enough, chances are it'll turn this devil into ice cream. And the reason I'm starting and stopping is to get some of those chunks down. I believe we've done it. Take the blade out. Be very careful, obviously the blade's sharper than hell. <laughs> Get out the bowl, which is right here. Put it in front of the thingy there. And I'm gonna zoom in on the bowl. And we've got ice cream. It's just like soft serve. You can also put in chocolate if you want. That's what I've got the cocoa powder, the cocoa powder here for, but we're not going to do chocolate today. I'm just going to do strawberry. You can even use, I've used jam in this thing before, which is good, but I much prefer using fresh fruit, especially when they're getting a little overripe. Voila. Absolutely nothing harmful in this. It's all pure natural goodness. Enjoy yourself some guilt-free ice cream from Man Cave Munchies.